everyone. I hope you had a great day. Notice I'm saying this a little different. And I am, I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> I'm Nona Grace. And where am I from? I'm from Western New York. That's a new entry, intro or something. I don't know. I just wanted to be different today. I um, put Little Lady outside this morning. It was quarter to nine and I opened the door and I decided to take her outside. And she's been out there all day. And when I called for chicken scratch time, everybody was there waiting. And here she comes, slow as molasses, but she was coming to get the chicken scratch. She was walking as fast as her little legs could take her. So she came up and she got the chicken scratch. And I, I made sure she had her little pile. And then I stood sort of in between her and the group so that the group would just let her be and let her eat her chicken scratch. Then... A little later, she was down by the pine tree, and I'm looking to see, can I see her? Yeah, she was there eating, and one of the hens that hatched out when she hatched out went over to her and did this little stare. She stared back. The other one walked away. It's the up above phone ringing. Who's calling? We have a phone call. Wireless caller. Oh, it's, it's, uh, this one's not the, oh, uh, this one's not the speaker mm -hmm. one. Hello. Hello, Mary Grace. Hello there, Bob. How are you? Oh, I'm here doing okay. You're doing okay. I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> I was doing my video, but that's good. Uh, no, 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 no. You can be in it <laughs> if you don't mind. You're. I'm. I'm just recording. I'm. I, we're on live. Well, no, we're we're in the recording session. I'm recording it, <laughs> but I can cut it out if you wish, or you can stay in. It's not on. It's not on the speakerphone though. It's on my other phone. Darn. Oh, okay, that'll be fine. If not, I'll call. If I don't hear from you, I'll be calling you. <laughs> okay. Yes, he is. Stick your nose in that video that I'm making, he says. No. Nope. No, thank you. No. He says he he will probably weigh in on something. I don't know what, but he will. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Well, I can start again, actually. Mm -hmm. I'll start again. Do I restart it or? Yeah, because this way I know which one is which. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, the back to the old. <laughs> I just was doing a little video and I got a phone call and it was Bob. But I'm going to do this over because I'm not sure if I want to put the other one in or not. It's, 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 I don't know. You might see it and you might not. I don't know which one you're going to see. <laughs> but anyways, I was telling you that I put little lady outside. Now I'm all mixed up. I don't know what I want to say. Oh my know. goodness. Little lady was outside. I know. She was out in the pine tree. And yeah, I know. But which video do we <coughs> want to use? Let's we'll start again. I'm ready. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace. And I'm from Western New York. This morning at quarter to nine. I was working on my comments, and then I thought, you know, maybe I should put Little Lady outside. So I put her outside. She was underneath the pine tree. Well, she went outside, and she was very happy to be outside. Then she went under the pine tree, and she was out there for a while. Oh, gosh, I've forgotten how I was saying it before. <laughs> this is take three, by the way. <laughs> and, um, let's see. I might put little bits and pieces of all of it in, only because I can't remember what I was saying. I was telling, it's like, it's like when you chew your cabbage twice. I don't feel like chewing it again. <laughs> but I will. I will tell you the story. She was out under the pine tree and one of the other hens that, that was hatched out at the same time that she was hatched out came over and was staring at her and she moved away. I think I told that part. And then I told the part about where I gave him chicken scratch and she came up and got the chicken scratch and I stood between. Oh, I lost my momentum. I really did. Oh, and I got seeds in the mail. Eric, those from Eccentric Nature. I had one of, uh, uh, challenge, or a, 
I don't know. A giveaway. That's why I couldn't even think what the heck it was here. I'm gonna hold my coffee. I brought my coffee because I didn't get to have it earlier. But I want old. Oh, it was stuck again. I want seeds from his giveaway. And um, they came in today. And there's they're right here. There's a lot of them in there. There's there was it said on the paper what they were, but I'll take them out of this bag. And it, it says on here what they are too. Wow, there's a lot of seeds in there. A lot of them in each package. Let's see. This is green or oregano. Or Greek, not green. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Greek, oregano, sweet basil. Whoa, these are um, cumin and thyme. Cumin, thyme? Probably cumin and thyme. No, but they're in the same bag. <coughs> so I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Um, I gotta start over again. Uh, just read it off of the other paper, maybe. I'll just read it off of this paper. It's easier. But there, those are the packets. I'm getting warm now because I'm getting nervous of all this. Okay, there's Greek oregano, sweet basil, common thyme, cilantro, cilantro lemon balm, and broadleaf sage. Mm. That's what there should be, one of each is what there is. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got. Thank you, Eric. I'm going to plant these, and they're going to be planted in cute little containers so that I <laughs> can enjoy the containers and the plants that grow. There's five little bags of, two, three, four, five, five little bags of of seeds. How cute this is, the, the seed bags are, actually. Mm -hmm. Those seeds are really tiny. Look at how tiny little black seeds. These are really, these are really small. Can you imagine gathering these seeds? That would be impossible. Oh, well, it's not impossible. Apparently somebody did it. <laughs> <laughs> but it would feel like impossible. Okay. Oh my goodness. This whole video is all screwed up. <laughs> it's really bad. It started out with okay, and then I kind of went off track. And, um, whatever. Okay. I guess we're done. Oh, um, little, um, the pretty, um, let's see, not pretty boy. Pretty boy crowed only once today, yes, for the snack. Only once. He, he thought they only needed it once today instead of three times like yesterday. Um, and Mr. Brown, he's, he's been out and about and he, <laughs> he pooped, he pooped on the floor and I, and I went to bend over to clean it up and he hops on my back. And then Jim had to take him off my back and put him in his cage so that I could, because I can't get him off my back. He just keeps walking and it's like, and I don't want him to fall. I don't know how far he'll go. I don't think he'll fall. He'll probably yeah. fly. <coughs> Still, mm -hmm. I don't want him to do that. So, I got seeds from, from Eccentric Nature, which is Eric. Thank you, Eric. And I will put the link into his channel. When he does, when he talks about his herbs, it's amazing how he talks about them. It's like watching another, it's like a documentary in itself. And it's an exciting documentary. He throws in a lot of a lot of uh, excitement and a lot of videos or, or pictures or stories. It's, it's like, it's a lesson within itself. It, it's fun listening to him. And when I did the, I did, um... A thing on dandelion once because I had I was challenged as to what what plant I wanted to be dandelion. I wish I would have watched his video on dandelions before I did mine on dandelions because his was far better and it would have given me more ideas of why I like to be a dandelion. Don't you spill my coffee? Mm -hmm. He's stirring it. <laughs> He's wiggling it and it's a full cup. It's a full cup. Okay, I guess we're gonna say goodbye. We're all done. I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.